I'm gonna unpack my daily schedule for you in this short video. I get asked all the time, Liam, what does your day actually look like? When do you section out time for prospecting, for following up with active clients and administrative tasks? How do you map it all out? So be sure to stick around because I'm gonna go through hour by hour to give you a real snapshot and in-depth overview of what my day-to-day -day actually looks like. Before we get into it, I wanna introduce myself. If we haven't met, my name is Liam Soares and I wanna thank you for stopping by. My whole goal in this channel is to provide tips and tricks, unpack the 20 years of experience I have to make sure you don't make any pitfalls or go down any rabbit holes like I have so you can scale your business, unlock time, and become the CEO of your real estate practice. So today's topic, how does my days look like? I get up really early between sort of 4.30 and 5. And between 5 and 6.30, I'm going through what my day actually looks like. So I'll be reviewing the appointments I have, the slack I have in the day. Is there anything else I can put in? Any preparation that needs to be done? I'm really reviewing and reflecting on what the day ahead looks like. Between 6.30 and 8 a.m., that's my personal time. Now that's time when I can have breakfast with my wife, we can drive to work together, catch up, all of that important family activities that sometimes we forget to put in. Then eight o'clock to about 11 a.m., I'm in full prospecting mode. So I'm reviewing my CRM of my database clients that I'm actively talking to in my KV Core website, and then I reach out to 10 to 15 past clients every day. Now, am I speaking to 10 to 15? I wish I could say I was, but no, I'm not actually talking directly to 10 to 15. I would say I'm hovering around three to five past clients a day that I'm speaking with. Now, this is also affiliates, contacts, mortgage brokers, lawyers, stagers, home inspectors. I'm just being active, right? Real estate is a contact sport. So I'm getting 10 to 15 contacts completed by 11 a.m. I do not touch my phone for voicemail, text, or email in that period. That's like protected time. Between 11 and 12, I'm doing active in the business. So busy work. What would have come in in the morning? What needs my attention? So between 11 and 12, I'm chasing through all that work. Between 12 and 1, I'm usually exercising. Now this is a shift in my business. I used to exercise first thing in the morning, but I made the shift not too long ago actually, where instead of working out between sort of that 5.30 and 6.30, I shifted it till noon because I find that morning a really protected time when I can get extremely focused and dialed in in the day ahead. So between 12 and one, I'm exercising, I work out, at my home, I never thought I would have shifted to that because I used to be sort of a, a gym rat sort of community, really enjoyed that. But with COVID, I started to work from home. We had no choice. And now I just love the accessibility and how efficient and effective it is. You know, within five minutes, I'm changed in my clothes and I'm working out. It's fantastic. Usually eat sort of between, you know, 1245, 115, grab a quick bite. And then between one and three o'clock, active business again. So moving that needle with follow-up with past clients, any type of prospecting activities. When you're going hard, sort of prospecting, right, to these 10 to 15 past clients, referrals, associates, there is going to be some sort of turbulence or shrapnel that happens where you will need to follow up. You can't be reaching out to people and not following up. So between one and three, I'm following up with any of the circle backs that are happening from my morning initiatives. Between three o'clock and seven o'clock, that's my window for appointments. That's when I'm doing either showings, listing appointments, agent coaching, mentoring, all of that. That's when I pack all of those activities in. And then usually my day is done around seven o'clock. For those of you that, that know me, probably difficult to get a hold of me after 8 p.m. because I do turn into a pumpkin. But if you're ever up and at it early in the morning and a little lonely that it's quiet, anytime 4.30 and on, 
reach out. I'm usually right in the grind of it, going at it. I adopted this process from Brian Buffini. He's like, win the week, win the month, win the year. And I was like, that's, that's kind of interesting. That's catchy. What does that actually mean? And we were at a conference and Brian actually unpacked it for us. He said, win the week. Win the week means achieving this four out of the five days in the week. Well, that's not too bad. I can do that. What is win the month? Win the month is achieve three out of the four weeks in the month. It gives a bit more context to maybe that, oh, you had a difficult day, something happened, family commitments, you got sort of derailed. It happens, that's called life. Life is based on certainty and uncertainty. We need a little bit of both. Like life's boring if everything is certain, right? And life is a little bit out of control if you have too much uncertainty. So recognize that it's not always gonna be the perfect day, but let's make sure it's a perfect week and a perfect month. What does your day look like? More specifically, how many hours a day are you allocating to prospecting? Please put that down in the comments. Let's see what the thread is able to sort of churn out. As I said at the beginning of this, between 8 and 11 a.m., three hours a day, I'm rolling with my prospecting. That is priority. Second thing I'd like you to do is also scroll down in the description below. There's two areas. One, you can grab a copy of my book, and the second is signing up for my newsletter. My newsletter, we're adding even in a more advanced context to what this channel has to offer. So sort of exclusivity, this YouTube channel obviously is free. Anyone can hop on whenever they want. But the newsletter, it's more of an intimate community and working relationship where I'm providing even more tips and tricks and downloadable forms that you can instantly take and add into your business. So last but not least, if you'd be kind enough to add a thumbs up, click the subscribe button if you're enjoying the content and also turn on notifications so you will be alerted immediately when content like this is dropped each week. Thanks and we'll see you on the next video.